Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will be discussing cash discounts using other dating methods. Specifically, the topics we will cover are we will solve cash discount problems with end of month dating. We will use receipt of goods dating to solve cash discount problems. We will use extra dating to solve cash discount problems. We will determine credit given for partial payment of an invoice. Let's begin with an exercise in which we demonstrate end of month or proximo dating. End of month or proximo dating means that a cash discount may be taken if the payment is made by the 10th of the month that follows the sale. So if the invoice date is July 6 and terms are 210 end of month, then the final discount date will be the 10th of the following month, which is August 10th. And the net payment date will be August 30th. The net payment is due 20 days after the last discount date. Now let's look at two exercises that demonstrate receipt of goods dating. Receipt of goods dating means that cash discounts are determined from the date on which the goods are actually received. In this exercise, the invoice date is January 15th. The terms are 315 receipt of goods, but the goods were not received until February 5th. So the final discount date will be February 20th, which is 15 days after February 5th. So the final discount date will be February 20th. Then the net payment date will be 20 days after the final discount date. So we have February 20th plus eight days in February plus 12 days in March gives us a net payment date of March 12th which is 20 days after February 20th. Now let's solve for the amount of the discount and the amount due. We have an invoice amount of $12.38. The invoice date is March 29th. Terms 215 receipt of goods. The goods were received April 15th and the invoice was paid on April 30th. April 30th is within the discount period because it is 15 days after receipt of goods. So the discount is 2% of $12.38, which rounded to the nearest cent is 25 cents. So the amount due here will be $12.38 subtract 25 cents or $12.13. Now let's do an exercise in which we demonstrate extra dating. Extra dating gives the buyer extra time to take advantage of the cash discount. If the invoice is dated November 22nd and the terms are 110 with 20 extra days, then the discount date will be November 22nd plus 20 extra days beyond the 10 days. So we have 8 days in November plus 2 days in December. plus 20 extra days, which gives us December 22nd as the final discount date. The net payment date is always 20 days after the final discount date. So December 22nd plus 20 days will be 
January 11th. Now let's look at an exercise in which we determine credit for the partial payment of an invoice. Yogurt for You receives an invoice amounting to $263.40 with terms of $220 end of month and dated September 6th. If a partial payment of $150 is made on October 15th, find the following things. The discount date is 20 days after the end of September, so the customer is entitled to take the 2% discount. So the cash discount earned on the partial payment is 100% minus 2%, which is 98%. As we know, base is always equal to part divided by rate. So the base here is the $150 partial payment divided by 98%, which gives us $153.06 credit. The balance due will be the invoice amount, which was $263.40, subtract the credit given, which is $153.06, which will give us a balance due of $110.34. The cash discount will be the credit given minus the partial payment. So the credit given is $153.06. Subtract the partial payment of $150. So the cash discount is $3.06. Now that we have completed this section, why don't you try some problems involving cash discounts with other dating methods on your own?